welcome back to another estrogen release video i'm asia in today's video we have a very special guest we have a first timer my cousin kimani <laughs> but my cousin kimani do you get mad when people call you come on no but other it drives people, me insane it, yeah i have my friends they all hate it and yeah. they're all like that's not her name yeah. i don't even hear it it drives me insane I know. It's, I come on. it's like they emphasize the cut too. Yeah. it's like i appreciate that but yes, my cousin <laughs> Kimani, and I also have my other cousin Rachel, who you guys know of, but you don't see too often because she hates the camera. She is our technical support today. You want to say something, Miss Rachel? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so today is a very special video. Y'all know I love to talk. I love discussions, and today we're going to talk about dating. Me and Kimani are in a very, I don't know if the word is prominent, but a very um, interesting stage interesting. in our life when it comes to dating, because we are technically single, mm -hmm. right? Right. I'm technically single, she's technically single, Rachel's technically single, and so we have a lot of discussions about, you know, our escapades. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, different things like that. So I thought it was gonna be cute to add a little sushi element because we're hungry and we need to eat. But um, we're just gonna have a little chit chat about what's dating. This kind of sparked up because I see a lot of posts on Instagram, social media in general. The soy sauce, yeah. A lot of posts about what's dating, what's appropriate for a date, and for some reason, this one particular post was circulating about um, was it unacceptable? Unacceptable dates. Let me pull it up. Oh, wait, wait. cause they were talking about like cheesecake factory yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So I don't know if I should. Maybe I should post it somewhere yeah. on the screen. But let me go to a really quick so I can give y'all an example I don't know on what. Oh, I don't think you want to do that on camera. And not know how to eat chopsticks. They're gonna be like, girl. I'm. To be honest, I'm not really confident in my chops. Chopsticks. Let's just watch. Yes. <laughs> and I just stab it. <laughs> So some of the places on the list were uh, Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, the movies, your house, any fast food chain, Buffalo Wing, well, Buffalo Wing Wild, <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings, um, uh, Wingstop, Red Lobster, a Buffet, IHOP, Denny's, The Gym, Church, Starbucks, coffee dates, ice cream dates, yada yada yada. Y'all get the point. So it was basically like regular schmegular places. Mm -hmm. When I saw this list, number one, I was like, okay, here we go. Another argument that's going to divide us and, you know. But one of the things I wanted to say publicly is that I have a, a slight conspiracy when it comes to posts like this. I truly believe that there's someone sitting in their house that woke up and was like, let me choose chaos and violence. And they just put like some bull crap together and yeah. they're like, let me get the girls going real quick. Right. I, and I don't even know, it could be a man or a woman. Like, I don't really know who's in charge of doing stuff like this. But I'm just like, I feel like there's no human on this planet, no adult human on this planet that would think that going to Cheesecake Factory isn't a date. If someone asks you. Exactly. Like, first of all, I'm going to get a Southwest egg roll every single time. Hey, just give me a cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> just give me a little cheesecake, you know. I feel like I feel like those like those topics are very much like social media topics. Because when you're dealing with people and you actually like someone, that's not right. stuff that you're like concerned about. Like, okay, okay, like certain stuff isn't a date. But if someone's right. like, hey, you know, I want to take you out, or let's just go to Cheesecake Factory, let's get some food, blah blah blah. Who's gonna be like, oh, I don't go to Cheesecake Factory? Like, be for real. One of the things on this I saw that I agree was was agree with was the house. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Now, if I, you know, meet someone, they tickle my fantasy, <laughs> and they was like, hey, you know, first date, I don't know this person. Hey, how about you come to the house and we can order in, or I'll cook for you. I don't really like that, because I feel like, number one, it's quick, it's lazy, and number two, like, from a safety aspect, mm -hmm. I don't want to be in your house. Yeah. Like, I need to be in a public space. Like, now, I thought that, basically what I'm saying is that you have to evaluate that person and what your relationship is in that stage. Mm -hmm. If you know that person and y'all been, y'all known each other as friends, mm -hmm. Y'all kind of already had that like level of familiarity or whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe the house is appropriate because you know, mm -hmm. you know them, mm -hmm. and it's like we already done stuff, other things together and stuff like that. So maybe, yeah. But first date, I don't know you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's unacceptable. All but all the other stuff, like Starbucks. I don't mind going out to Starbucks for like a little. Get it's a break. coffee date. Like, yeah, I feel like. 
as far as a house, a house can be a date if you make it like romantic right, and stuff like right. that. But as a first date, no. And then most of the time, if I'm coming over and we're just like coming over to hang out, maybe we'll order some food, that's hanging out. Right. Like that's not necessarily a date, and that's not going to be a first date. That doesn't. That doesn't count. That's like after a couple of days, and it's like, yeah, I don't really feel like going anywhere, but I want to see you. Like, okay, we can hang out, smoke hookah, no, get some chill. Food. Yeah, chill. but that's not a first date. Like, that's why right. I'm getting to know you. I'm just meeting you. Like. No. And that was the point that I was thinking about. Like to me, again goes back to what is the current status of this this situation? Like are you trying to impress me mm -hmm. by, you know, courting me, trying to I feel like a first date, of course you gotta set the tone. A regular date, we can talk about that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, as long to me a date is some effort, like some type of form of effort. Mm -hmm. And as long as you have that effort and you had that like that mentality like I'm trying to show this person out to a good yeah. time then it's like yeah. to me that's acceptable yeah I don't know and then the thing that pisses me off is that they try to use those type of arguments to speak for everything yes side note I wanted to say this earlier and Rachel you can kind of chime in on this as well to a certain extent but I never want estrogen release to come off as a men hating channel I said this back in an old video but, you know, I come across certain people, especially guys, they feel like estrogen release isn't for them because obviously it has the word estrogen right. in it. That's so scary. They just think it's like a, a male bashing thing. It's not a men bashing thing. Obviously, we're talking about men because we date men. But this specifically, what to date, trying to figure out, you know, what is that, you know, I don't want to say safe space, but what is what qualifies a date as a date. Mm -hmm. I feel like that is something that both genders can kind of like yeah both genders could kind of like i guess benefit from to yeah. have that conversation and that that visibility yeah i feel like i agree with you about the whole like a date is supposed to be you showing your effort it takes right. no effort for me to come to your house and that can go both ways because guys always like girls like take guys out on dates blah blah, blah. that's not necessarily true it's i not. feel like but it, what how much effort are you putting in you want me to plan some elaborate day just to prove to you that i'm not a gold digger right like no i just want you to show some effort and oh oh you know what i hate yeah. i hate when someone asks you out and they say oh what should we do i think that's so <laughs> i'm taking you out sorry you that's so much wasabi I didn't even see my wasabi and I missed Girl, it. Girl, the, the wasabi time. is. If you ain't got the wasabi, you ain't wasabi. <laughs> but no. Um, but, and I, and I also feel like. That crazy too. I don't like that either. But I think what's messing up dating is men trying to be like, oh, so you only want me to, you want me to pay for this? You want me to do this? You want me to do that? What are you doing for me? But it's just like, that's what dating is. Like, we're supposed right. to go out on dates. We're supposed to do stuff. It's not just like, I feel like they'd be nickel and dime and like, okay, I spent $50 at this date. And it's just like, what, what do you, what do you think? How do you think this is supposed to work? I'm supposed to come and show at your house every day? This is I not agree. high school. I agree. And to me, I just feel like it, it's, again, goes back to setting the tone mm -hmm. for who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. Like, at the end of the day, you eventually find out, like, if you really like me, you're going to eventually find out that I'm not a gold digger. The same way I'm going to eventually find out that you really like me and you're really trying mm -hmm. to show, you know, who you are and you really want to. You know, I wouldn't say impress me, but you really want to learn more about me mm -hmm. and go further or whatever. I, I think I just lost my train of thought. What were we just saying? <laughs> this is why Dating. I write everything. What was that saying? Dating. Right Dating. Uh. Telling <laughs> about the, the, oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. So basically, to, when I think of like people who complain about planning out a first date, and this goes for men and women, planning anything when it comes to dating versus just doing like, you know, the chill out the chill at the house type vibe. Oh, okay. At the end of the day, my drink's falling apart too. At the end of the day, we all date for different reasons. Now, you can date if you just want an arrangement and you just try to, you know. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what you want to do or it's just like a you know a transactional thing it's different reasons why you date but if you really like somebody you vibe with them and you you see a future with them I'm sorry you complaining about planning a date or going out on dates or dating in general is a huge turn off to me yeah. because at the end of the day as a woman and I'm going to bring my gender into it but as a woman I'm I could potentially have to sacrifice my body potentially sacrifice my time in the sense of I got to put my life on hold to mm -hmm. to basically cater for our family mm -hmm. and plan our family and you know take yeah. care of the things to, to bring our family into the world essentially yeah. I don't want to hear you complain about a $30 date at Applebee's. <laughs> to me, I, am I wrong? Like, I just no. feel like that is really weird it's, to me if you really think about the sacrifices that come with more than likely the result from dating. Mm -hmm. 
this is someone that you're going to commit your life to in a sense. Yeah. This is your partner. If you already complaining in the beginning stages when it comes to planning a date, baby, you can't plan a family. Yeah. You can't plan a mortgage. And, like, you can't do none of I'm that. I'm just confused because I'm just like, so, are you, like, really, are we supposed to chill at your house until we eventually get married? Girl, I'm very disgusted. confused about that. And then, you know what also grinds my gears? This will stop you. It's like when... It, like you said, certain people want certain things out of dating. Right. So go with who wants what you want. Like they'll be trying to convince someone right. who clearly says, "I want a millionaire guy. I want to be like this. I want. I want right. to be. I want to be at home. I want to." And they're trying to convince her to be something else. Go with the girl that wants to go half what you want. So go with the girl that want, likes the stuff that you like. That wants right. to do the stuff that you do. They're trying to convince the girl that don't that likes to shop and chill all day to go hiking. What? Like right. that doesn't make sense. That's like convincing someone that's a vegan eat this steak. Like, but they don't like steak, so give it to someone that likes steak. Like, I why agree. are you trying to convince someone of something just so that you can date them? Find someone who wants to date you. Try to force you. It. Yeah. yeah, and it's just like, if anything, you're calling them gold diggers. What are you when you're tr when you're purposely seeking out someone that doesn't want what you want and trying to make them do what you want them to do, and then complain about it or be like, see, all women are like this. No, all the women sure approaching her like this because mm -hmm. you're not going with who you need to be with. You're not staying in your lane essentially. And so. I was going to say this isn't a gold digger forward channel. I'm not trying to say like we advocate for gold diggers. I don't I do. personally. <laughs> I mean I'm not my one bad. but I love, my bad. I, love, I, love, I love that for them. My bad didn't know. <laughs> but me personally I'm not saying like I feel bad for people who you know they deal with gold diggers and things like that. Yeah. Like I feel bad mm -hmm. but at the same time I think it goes back to like but, like my overall view on life is like you gotta be communicating mm -hmm. i should have that hashtag at the bottom you gotta be communicating mm -hmm. because at the end of the day i think it's important to have those conversations like i said earlier what is the date what do you expect from this and yeah. then on top of that i feel like you'll see the person that you're dealing with like mm -hmm. you'll you'll start to understand like okay this is what i'm all here for an arrangement situation yeah i'm all here for if we just gonna have fun but don't be trying to court me at the house yeah i feel like that makes no sense everyone well people know what type of relationships they want there's guys that like transactional relationships they want a certain thing and the girl wants a certain thing and they do that right. there's some people that want families there's some people that don't want a family they just want someone to travel with or do this with it like just go with who wants what you right. want like right it's gonna simple. be less of a headache and then on top of that you know, communication is always going to be very important. I think that regardless, it will be less of a headache when you find someone who has the same mentality as you are, mm. is on the same page as you. Yeah. Like, it's not as much of a hassle. Oh my god. You know a question I hate? What do you bring to the table? <laughs> what do you well, How do you answer that? <laughs> it's two ways I answer it. It depends what kind of mood I'm in. If I'm, usually I'm in the back and forth. But I'll be, it's just like, what do I bring? Like, because any way that you answer that, will come off kind of superficial because it's like I find, it's very pretentious in yeah my it's very pretentious and i feel like a lot of guys when they ask that or when they say they're like oh well i'm a provider i do this 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 and this and it's just like okay but what else do you bring to the table or if you say something like oh i'll be there for you i'll do this or i'll do that it's just like you don't you find out what that person brings to the table through dating them through because i feel like you bring different versions of yourself different relationships right. like you might be with someone who needs a more adventurous side of you you might need someone that needs a more stable side depending on what that person's personality is like yeah. so i feel like me saying what i bring to the table in a previous relationship is not going to be the same in this relationship because you're a different person yeah and i might be a different person it might be years years down the line or whatever so i just don't feel like that's a fair question and i feel like that's um that's just such a that's such a bs question i just don't like that it's a it's kind of a turn off when people like say what do you bring to the table because you're gonna find out when you date me if you thought i wasn't about nothing or i didn't bring nothing to the table why are you even here we are doing dating x after this so i will save that type of conversation oh, yeah. for dating x i have x yes 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 <laughs> yeah i also think that's a very awkward question um and then on top of that like i just feel like i get the you want to know but again i think naturally you will if we go out on more dates you'll find out what i bring like i think our i don't want to say our generation because i don't think it's a, a millennial thing i think it's just being in the age of social media mm -hmm. and this is one of my points we have this obsession with flexing Yes. And whenever you flex something, it's like a, a quickness that comes with dating. And to me, in my opinion, if you find somebody that you really like, it takes time to like, it takes mm -hmm. time to kind of like facilitate. Like it yeah. takes time to build. It's not going to be quick. Mm -hmm. But because we're so obsessed with showing like dates, these extravagant dates, mm -hmm. you know, and like showing like, oh, this person took me out. Like I'm the type of person, I don't need 
a, a, a trail of roses to a limo to go out to a fancy restaurant. I don't yeah. need that. But I think that because of social media, we are kind of obsessed with that, that look of a date. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of goes to what you were saying, like with you know people actually what you bring to the table because they're like, look, I'm doing all this because I need to know fast. Mm -hmm. But it's like if we're just hanging out, having a good time, dating, mm -hmm. you know, just regularly dating, yeah. you're gonna find that out naturally. But you're trying to rush it, right? You know what I'm saying? Like if you wasn't rushing, you wouldn't have to know what I bring to the table exactly. because you would eventually find because out. you're open to finding right. out. I feel like when you ask that, it's like you're like it's like a job interview. Like why? What, right. what are you gonna bring to this company? Like. I dated I had someone like that, same, and he was same. very much like he talked. I mean, he kind of talked like he was at work, and I was just like, I don't. What you see yourself in five years? Yeah, he asked me that, girl. Like, but I was just, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's just not go with the flow because I understand also that we're older. We need to see more so at this point in our lives, we're dating intentionally. So you want to see like where that person's mind is. I, I get, get the it, question. but I, I don't need to give you a five-year business plan outline. It's just awkward. the next couple of years, like that's crazy. It's just awkward to me. Yeah, and it's like I think I just I'm safe with Rachel. I'm a very conversational person. I like discussion, obviously. Me personally, I don't want to have. How can I word this and not sound mean? I don't want to give you out this like this uh posy version of myself yeah and when you ask me questions like that like those resume type questions mm -hmm. you're gonna get i want to say a piece of me because that sounds fun but <laughs> you get kind of like a the face value yeah i know plenty of guys that i've been with or talked to that we were on paper great but when you you have that connection it's not there and i just feel like when you have those type of conversations to me that's not dating mm -hmm. that that's your scoping your prospects and yeah. to me that's a turn off yeah but i have one last point i will say that um for my last point that smells so good i got pieces this time yeah yeah I, this smells so good but i think the last point i want to make well last two points that i want to make because we're going on 20 minutes um but I really wish we can like stop with this blame game when it comes to dating. Mm -hmm. It drives me insane to see like the division between genders and it's just like it's like the race for who who's right. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like at the end of the day, I wish it was as simple as you finding the person you like mm -hmm. and y'all talk about what you like and then y'all meet in the middle. Yeah. I wish it was simple like that, but it feels like it's not because we have all this other like chaotic energy interjecting in what is what's what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, I feel like what's missing is like the getting to know aspect. I feel like people exactly. have a list of questions and they want you to answer them, answer them right or it's a right. chop. And it's just like it's a chop. It's just <laughs> it's a chop. <laughs> it's just Happy like date. Um, it's a chop. <laughs> well, um I feel like there's like a lot of I'm trying to think of it without cursing, but there's like a I'll lot leave of, it out. It's just there's like, a lot of bad <laughs> that are, and it's really annoying because it's just like they they want. It's like they want to be the man, and they are so like I'm I'm the man. Oh, I have I have an ick for that. But they're like I'm the man, I'm the man, da da da. But then they want you to treat them like they're the girl. Like, well, what are you gonna do for me, or what are you gonna buy me, or where are you gonna take yeah. me, or what are you gonna do, or like it's just I don't know. It's just, I'm, but, and I understand, because I'm a nurturing person, so if I'm with someone, like, I'm very nurturing, very caring, mm -hmm. all that stuff, but for me to do that, I gotta feel like I'm dating a man. Like, you have to mm -hmm. act like, you can't just tell me what you're gonna do, like, you have to show it. Like, I feel like a lot of guys tell you what they're gonna do, but then when it's time to show it, they're so mm -hmm. like, oh, but... Oh, you're talking about guys? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm Oh, you thought I was talking about girls? No. Yeah, I, mean, I thought like, you were saying bad girls who are actually... No, men that are acting like, like they want to have the princess treatment. And oh, it's like, which, see, and for me, I see what you're saying. I understand that, like, that rhetoric. But I don't even want to... I feel like that's, like, language that keeps us divided as well. Like, I understand, because I don't believe in traditional gender roles. So, like, to me, I'm like, you have to explain more of, again, that goes into who you like and you decide okay this this doesn't turn me on because i feel like this is this isn't the type of party that i, I subscribe to like this is not the behavior or these are not the characteristics that i like from my men you okay. know like i'm yeah. not i'm not i understand no, what you're saying yeah because right i've heard it before i have a point for that but it's goes under x so i'm just gonna say that we have another video coming up for you guys <laughs> Um, and it's funny because I wanted to do the X. I was going to release the X video first, but I think this just flowed naturally. So catch us next time for dating X. So um, do you know my outro? Um, no, I can't remember it right Disrespectful. now. Disrespectful. I, I just, do you know my outro? <laughs>
<laughs> disrespectful. <laughs> it goes like, let me get my body. I feel like once you say it, I'm gonna remember it. Sure, you will. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> okay. Get out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I hate being on camera. <laughs> so much. I just kept looking at my poopa. I was gonna say, is my was my double chin? Oh no. I think I look pretty pretty. Period. Yeah. Rachel's so sweaty. positive. <laughs> I think that's kind of gross, yeah, yeah, yeah. but great job. <laughs> no, yeah, dude, y'all skin is all glowing in the camera and everything. Good it's makeup, sweat. baby. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sweat, sweat. <laughs> Maybe she's born with it. <laughs> Maybe she's just a sweaty monster. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, well, you want me to cut? Thank you, sweetie. Cut the cameras. That's not well. Did you know I'm a film and video major in college? I should have done it. Oh, you said you were? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Oh, is yeah. that, I guess, the thing? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have to internship. Oh, <laughs> this song is going in. This is going to go in the, the, the end credits. <laughs> Alright. Hey, y'all, welcome back to another Estrogen Release video. I am Asia. Try not to blow. Do that little, <laughs> the little bubble thing. Okay. <laughs> Why you? I heard it. Why you? I was like. <laughs> They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.